Hi everyone, I am Luo Pei Chen, and and uh, I am the last one here to give the speech. And uh, after watching my classmates' salient performance, and I'm a little bit nervous. So first, anyway, let's get started. First, I want want to ask you a simple question here. How many of you can get out of the use of the internet? I mean, not watching TV or using your cell phone to chat with your friends. Please raise your hand and let me see. Yes, as I assume, almost none of you can uh, live without the internet because we have entered the age of the internet. And this age, however, this age has come to a depression because the mature for the artificial intelligence have, has, come, has been matured. And Um, here is a daily update of the Pinterest website. There are four news on it. We can see there are three about artificial intelligence. And if you search on the internet for artificial intelligence, we can also get a lot of information about it. Um, months ago, AlphaGo defeated the legendary Go player Lee Sato in a historic victory. This victory also, uh, not only made Google more famous, but also brought artificial intelligence to public attention. And uh, what is exactly artificial intelligence? And uh, how important a role it might play in the future? Let's first, let's watch a short video to get a closer look of it. So our world is already populated with a lot of, you know, shallow AI, the if-then, you know, expert system type rule sets. And we're seeing it already in various functions like diagnostic systems in cars. So it's kind of already out there. But the next stage is the more intelligent systems that are capable of doing decision making, of doing planning, of connecting a series of events and choices together. I think at Frost and Sullivan we strongly believe that artificial intelligence is a bit of a crossroads now. We're about to pass the inflection point, if you like. I think, unfortunately, we still see a lot in the press about the, uh, the cyborgs invading a dystopian threats to mankind. And I think we're a little way off of that, even if it's going to come. You know, we've seen some major developments in artificial intelligence. Uh, and every sector is really going to be impacted by artificial intelligence to some degree in the next five to ten years. There's been lots of studies out there that say within 20 years even, maybe 50% of jobs within the Western world may be eliminated because of artificial intelligence. And that's obviously worrying to economists, to politicians and everyone else. Thanks to technology, you've had totally new business models and it has impacted the lives of all of us. The people or the companies that will be able to leverage on technology will have a very, very unfair advantage. And so in a world where you will have mass unemployment in a world where robots will be replacing a lot of the things that we do. What is our model of society? I think artificial intelligence is one of those technologies that's, you know, this is it, this is completely going to change our lives. And it's going to completely change the way in which we approach manufacturing, the way in which we approach R&D. I think the efficiencies that that's going to bring and the optimization that that's going to bring is going to address a lot of problems that we are facing right now. Frost and Sullivan estimates to have about 8 million uh, autonomous, semi-autonomous and highly autonomous vehicles in the world in the next decade. And the entire market value by itself is going to be about 64 billion. So within this pie of 64 billion, uh, more than half of it is, will actually be constituted by software. So we are looking at a time frame of 10 years when artificial intelligence can actually make a transformational shift in this industry from semi-automated to fully automated vehicles. In the security industry, uh, companies and end users tend to be quite slow moving to new technology. Companies have to be more forward thinking and have to educate end users on the benefits and the applications of this new technology. So we're, we're entering some very interesting spaces that are uncharted territory. With all of these things, we're entering territory where we don't have a rule set yet. And at Frost and Sullivan, we can help you roadmap what are these technologies uh, are going to be coming through, which ones are going to be the most prevalent in the market, uh, and which ones are going to be the most used to the end users moving forward.
So, what's the advantage of artificial intelligence? First, artificial intelligence can solve more computation than humans, such as the understanding of image computing and the chess playing, and so on. For simple and re repetitive things, artificial intelligence is mo most appropriate and can help people to improve their work efficiency. There is no doubt that in the near future, AI will replace those workers who work on those things that are mechanical, repetitive, and demanding less thought. Bill Gates believes that AI will eventually change the working environment in developing, developed countries. When we emancipate the workforce from those manufacturing industry, we can then turn it into some human-centered needs. He said, also, AI has high-thinking ability. For example, Siri, Bank, and other co companies have AI service network system during the development of science and society the use of artificial intelligence will be performed in more fields besides the game I would like to take e-commerce as an example artificial intelligence is altering the way e-commerce stores operate as it offers new ways of big data analyze helping retailers to engage with their customers on a new level and provide better customer experiences. We, we all know for online stores, a personalized customer experience is the key to their success. And now technology can, can analyze what a customer has done and can predict what they are going to do in the future. This often resulted in machine learning systems and cognitive computing. However, these are just subsets of AI. With self-learning algorithm, artificial intelligence is, is able to decompose big data in order to create incredibly targeted user experiences. This, uh, also, the right person needs the right message at the right time. This helps to drive conversion. AI system was created to replace the traditional replenishment and merchandising system that can't analyze large volume of unstructured data and determine products, attributes, or hidden trends, both in real time and dynamically. So, what are the benefits of analyzing large data? First, it helps marketers to increase their overall profits by having less countdowns and uh, markdowns and discounts. In addition, it can help the brands to be the first to start on their marketing style that are likely to be on the trend in the short or medium term. Finally, it may help buyers, merchandisers, and designers to use these insights to predict what, what clothes their customer wants before they really know it themselves. Artificial intelligence is destined to be a revolution. The machine will have much more, much more advantage than human in some fields and it will help mankind to enter a better future which is an important sign of humans surpassing themselves however AI does not make machines smarter the machine needs human to make them smarter which all depends on our advanced technology research when we look back on the history of artificial intelligence we find that the enhancement of computational power and the improvement of amount of data have already brought a leap in intelligence. So how will we go about doing that? The brain of, us, uh, of each of us seems to be a unique operating system in which there is a formula for the operation of our own brain. As time goes on, we will constantly upgrade our brains like the fashionable clothes we often care about. Our knowledge base is constantly improving itself by learning new technologies, looking for new information, and paying attention to social news and so on. People used to work hard on their food by hand will harvest more food. With the progress of time, our brain has become the most important part for us to rely on. As a result, updating our brain with new technology and ideas such as AI is crucial to our living. 
There are plenty of opportunities for everyone in our society, but only those who are prepared adequately and qualified highly can make use of them to achieve their purpose. It is necessary for us to learn new things because it not only improves us, but also helps realize the harmony between people and people in the society. The world has entered the era of multicultural coexistence. When each individual has certain ability, the society they form will be able to maintain harmony and create an ideal social environment. To form such a society, we have to update our brain at any moment. Therefore, it is not only a task to up upgrade the brain, but also a reflection of the set ascetic consciousness of the society. I'm standing here today to tell you that we have to brace ourselves because modern technology like AI may change the world soon. Only if we stand ready can we seize the opportunity instead of letting them slip away. Just as the saying goes, the opportunity are only for prepared minds. Thank you.